All right, everyone, next up in our handstand prep progression, we've just done two variations of this movement, but this is a, I think it's a yoga thing. I don't really, I don't know yoga. I just study movement, right? Uh, it's the crow pose. Bakasana? I don't really know. I don't really know. I should stop talking. This is the crow pose. Um, and now we're going to take both our feet off this block. So, you know what? I don't even need it. Let's put these cushions back. And we're going to set up the same way. So, I try to spread, shake around a little bit if you need some warming up. I try to spread my hands to get them as flat as I can. Get a nice wide base here. <clears throat> And then I'm going to bring my belly button back to stabilize my midsection. I'm going to make sure my neck stays long to get my shoulders and my neck in a good spot. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pick our knees up off the ground. Bring them to your legs. and gradually shift forward until the feet come up. I would go one at a time till you got it. Just try to keep breathing. Cool. Um, that one's a nice one. It's a really good way to uh, start implementing some of that loading onto your hands, right? So now, I've shifted all of my body weight onto there. And it it's independent of the shoulder mobility that I have and kind of the elbow mobility that I have. So I don't need to be totally prepared to do a handstand. It's a nice way to load these joints, these smaller joints, but not overdo it. You're not, uh, you don't have it so much of that balance component of things that is so common in the handstand. So that's the crow pose. Um, I am not a yoga instructor and I Googled this, well, I YouTubed this, I suppose. And I came across one channel of a woman that I, I find very entertaining. Uh, it's yoga with Adrian. And if you have done yoga, you probably have seen this already, but I just wanted to share it for those of you who have not. Um, I don't study yoga, but I do study movement. And she definitely cares about the movement and the quality of the movement. So that's my little pre-vetting for you if you need some more videos to watch. So that was the crow pose.